Hi, my name is Yao Ajakum, a 10-year Air Force veteran um, with a degree in computer information systems and business management. When I found the opportunity to upgrade myself, I chose data analytics with savvy coders. I wanted to understand why some decisions were taken in the company to either cut costs, create revenues, or check for trends in the particular data. With my passion for sports, I selected sports data analysis for my capstone project. I used a predictive analysis to be able to predict which player will score in the next game through a formula that I created. During my time with Savvy Coders, I had the luxury of being a product owner in my Agile team, Team 3. As a product owner, I was responsible for communicating the vision of the product to be created to my team from the stakeholders. For Team 3, the vision of the homework, class activities, capstone, etc., were communicated between the stakeholder, which was usually Stephanie, to my team. Managing the product backlog was also essential to my team's success. It contained a list of items that were needed to be completed to achieve my team's success. I had to keep track of every team member's progress every Sunday before the start of the class week using checklists. Also, events in the product backlog were assigned priorities using numbers. I was in charge in assigning priority numbers one through five to every item in the list. I was also the liaison between the stakeholder and my team. The stakeholder will communicate the client's needs to the team through me. So the data source that I got my data from was Kaggle, was found on Kaggle. I have the link provided here. Uh, it is a data set with our statistics of our soccer players from across the top five leagues in Europe, namely uh, the Premier League in England, Bundesliga in Germany, Serie A in Italy, uh, League One in France, and La Liga in Spain. Using this historical data set, I was able to predict who scores goal in the next game. Moving on, for the data cleaning, um, I use Python, SQLite, and Excel. Uh, in Python, I wrote the CSV file, which was the original format that the data sets uh, came in. I, I read the CSV file into Python to give me access to the data, and I replaced the nulls with empty spaces. Uh, I renamed some of the column. Um, due to spelling mistakes, I deleted some of the columns that uh, I wouldn't need for uh, my project. And after that, I wrote the file back into a CSV with a different, uh, different uh, file name. So after that, uh, I imported the new CSV file to SQLite to do more data cleaning, uh, especially in the position column, uh, which contained abbreviations. I had to change uh, all the abbreviations into full, uh, full positions. Uh, ages were also hyphenated, uh, so I had to cast them into an integer and also get rid of the hyphens uh, in the ages. After that, uh, I still found nulls in my data set. So uh, using SQLite, once again, I had to replace all the nulls with the zeros. The data sets after that was exported to Excel sheet, where I was able to do more cleaning. Uh, in Excel, I added the an extra column called predict goals, which contained the formula that I created to predict goals. Uh, the formula was, uh, I added uh, three columns, goal, expected goals, non-expected, non-penalty expected goals, 
and I divided all three columns by one column called a minutes played, and then I multiply everything by 90. That is the 90 minutes used in a soccer game. So in the next slide, uh, I have screenshots of my original data sets. Uh, I have a screenshot of my code in Python. I have a screenshot of my code in SQLite, and I have a screenshot of my Excel. So let's start with my the original data set. As you can see, the extra column that I created that contained the formula is all the way into the end. It's highlighted in yellow, uh, called the predict goals. That's where uh, I use for my project. Uh, and then the next, the next slide is Python screenshot that contain all the code. Uh, as you can see, I had all the comment. I had it commented out every every uh, every code that I wrote had comments in it. As you can see, I started importing the libraries. So pandas and then CSV. Uh, I read the CSV file into uh, a variable called the players, uh, and I checked number of nulls in each column uh, using uh, players as null dot sum. And also I, I filled the, empty, the, the nulls with empty spaces to get rid of all the nulls. And then uh, the next one, I displayed the columns so that I'll have a list of columns to, to work with. Uh, next one is uh, a code to rename all the columns that had either spelling mistake or how to rename them to make, make it easier to work with, especially in SQLite. And the next one, uh, remove columns, uh, remove some of the columns that I didn't need. And then uh, the last code that I wrote was to write the CSV back to a new file. Uh, Moving on uh, is my SQL light. So the screenshot I have wasn't able to capture all the code that I wrote, but what I have shown right now is uh, where I replaced all the nulls, the remaining nulls with the number zero. And then Excel, I guess I didn't really do much in Excel uh, because I had uh, prior knowledge in Excel before the class, so it wasn't that challenging. All I had to do was add uh, one more um, column called predict goal that contained the formula to accomplish my capstone. So we are into the data charts right now. Uh, the first one is the Premier League, uh, which is played in England. Uh, it has uh, 20 teams. Um, so the first couple of players are Cole Palmer, Kobe Manu, Jevon Makilo, Just Pence, uh, just to name a few. They are the players which who are going to be predicted to score in the next couple of games, according to my uh, predictive analysis. In Bundesliga, in Bundesliga, I have uh, Marco Polic, uh, Nelson Wiper, Antonius Papu, uh, Gabriel, and uh, Lauren, just to name a few, uh, which are the players to to score in the next games in Germany. The next one is uh, La Liga, which is played in Spain. Uh, for La Liga, I have uh, Bebe, uh, Roberto, Torres, uh, Javier Pastori, uh, uh, Mariano uh, to score in the next games uh, in Spain. Uh, moving on to the next one is going to be Italy football. It's called Osira A. Uh, it also has a 20 team. So for those players, I have uh, Gianluca Gaetano. I have uh, Samuel Lane Jr. 
uh, I have Alessandro Zanoli, I have Franco Carboni, I just to name a few uh, to score in Italy in the next games. Um, Moving on to the next league, uh, League One, which is played in France. So that uh, I have uh, Anti Palaversa, I have uh, Antonin uh, Bobicon, I have Reda Balayani, um, I have Rice Haley, um, just to name a few. Those uh, those players are predicted to score in the next. Uh, game uh, so that is it for my charts uh, so my next slides are uh, we will be talking about stakeholders uh, the audience that this particular project was designed for so I have our uh, scouts and our uh, team owners uh, looking for talents for their team uh, they can actually use their uh, use this data to look for talents uh, to purchase for their team. And also, soccer fans uh, who love to bet in games, uh, they can actually use this data to help them uh, determine or predict who will score in the next couple of games. So the next slide, uh, pains and frustrations uh, during the project. So finding the right data sets was a bit of pain uh, because of that I had to switch out uh, switch my uh, capstone top a couple of times um, because most of the data sets that I found was either fully clean like it, it had little to no opportunity to, to clean clean them using all the tools that uh, I was taught during this course so uh, I was bouncing around to either do sports or find something health related. Um, so I, I ended up still doing sports since uh, that was easier to actually find the data sets to work with. And also I had I had the uh, deciding between using SQLite because we had a chance, I mean your choice to either use SQLite or Excel and then Python. So using, trying, deciding between those two was a bit, was a bit of a pain because uh, I ended up doing more data cleaning in SQL since it, it required programming, but I didn't want to use Excel because I had prior knowledge of Excel and it was way easier to do it in Excel. So. I wanted to challenge myself to use SQLite. All oh, the next uh, pain and frustration was creating, trying to create a formula to predict the goals, um, finding the right attribute, the right uh, data, the right column to manipulate, to create the formula to uh, predict goals was kind of difficult, but I was able to overcome that. Uh, after reading a couple of uh, sports uh, websites. So, in conclusion, um, this data analysis was possible with the use of historical data and then predictive analysis. Um, and then the use of all these tools, uh, Python, uh, SQLite, and Excel, that I was thought during my time with Savvy Coders made this possible, made it easier. Uh, my time at Savvy Coders was challenging, informative, and was fun. Um, meeting new people, uh, always uh, my team three, sharing a room with them, uh, sharing ideas, helping each other. It was really transformative. Thank you for listening to my capstone project on who to score next in the next soccer game. Bye for now.